Hey everybody, I'm Mikey Pedroza, and I'm talking to you today about who other but Mr. Steven something Mitchell. When I first started swing dancing, I didn't even know who Steven Mitchell was. But I did this gig one time with uh, my dance teacher when I was really super young, and she played the Jitterbug Stroll. And I said, what is that? Uh, so she proceeded to teach it, and I saw this routine and this song that went along with it, and I was just like, what is that? It sounds like really cheesy swing music. That happened to be just my first thought. But after time, I came to know who was singing that cheesy song. Uh, I didn't know it was Stephen Mitchell for a long time, even after the fact I had met him and taken a few classes from him. But the fact is that I look back and I know we kind of make fun, but really, the Jitterbug Stroll and the dance and the song that goes along with it is pretty awesome. It was still a long time, even after I heard the Jitterbug Stroll, that I actually got time to take a lesson from Stephen and Virginie. Um, I think the first time was probably in Denver, and uh, to be honest, it kind of intimidated me. I didn't actually take the class because I thought I wasn't good enough. Uh, I thought I couldn't hang. Uh, the stuff he was doing and the, the way he was explaining things were so natural to him and so fluid. I was blown away. So over the years, just like a lot of you watching, you've been able to see Steven at different venues and different events over the years. A couple times I've been able to actually sit down and talk to him, whether it be just kind of hanging dinner or some drinks or just really hanging out at a, at a dance venue watching everybody dance. And talking to Steven is interesting. At first I thought for sure he was just going to scat at me or something. Uh, but actually, he's very inquisitive. He wants to know who you are, what you're about, what you're going through, whether it be good or bad. He's a great listener. He's a really fun person as well. I know on a number of occasions we've uh, taken to uh, drinking the water, the local water, and uh, yeah, we've had some great times. But the thing about Stephen, the, the way I perceive him, his role in the Lindy Hop community, in the swing dance community, and the dance community. He's a bit of a shaman of Lindy Hop. If Frankie was the ambassador and Norma's the queen, then Steven would be the shaman or priest. In every sense of the word, he sends the message of love and joy through Lindy Hop, just like Frankie and just like Norma, just like Jazz. He has an endless supply of knowledge in his brain and his body that he is so open to sharing with everybody else. And uh, I have been really lucky to talk to him about that knowledge and talk to him about that, those uh, experiences that he's been through. I remember one time I talked to him very seriously and, and, and it was about dancing. And he basically told me, after a lot of scatting, he told me, it's not always the Mikey show. And this was about four, year, four, four years ago, maybe now. And I got so pissed at him. But like, not at him, like, I hate you, how can you say that? But I'm just like, oh, I can't believe you just said that, I know, and I hate myself for that. And now you've brought it up, and now it's, everybody can see it, and now I'm ruined, and I want to go and die. I hate everything. But uh, since we all know I'm kind of a 14-year-old girl, I did overreact. Uh, I didn't overreact to him. I definitely got upset because I knew it was true. And he had come to me and told me straight to my face. And after that, I started to dwell deeper into my dance and dwell deeper into what it, what it meant to be the Mikey show and then get the hell out of it. <laughs> but Stephen helped me shine a light on it. And over time, he's kind of told me how well I've been doing. So, like I said, he's kind of that, not spiritual guidance, but definitely that movement guidance that kind of pertains to dance and life itself. And for that, I'm really thankful. And I think I'm more thankful to be able to call Stephen a friend. Uh, he's an incredible person. He's been through a lot. And I know he's still got more to bestow onto us dancers. 
And now in the 15th year of Stephen and Virginie workshop in Rochester, it just makes me look back 15 years ago when I was just a smaller fat kid uh, in Orange County learning my first rock step that he and Virginie were teaching amazing things to the Rochester community. I wish I could be there. Uh, unfortunately, I just can't pull myself away from a Jason Mraz concert this weekend. 14-year-old girl. So, congratulations. I hope everybody there has a great time. And remember one thing. If Steven or Virginie says something for you to fix and you're wondering, I wonder if they're talking to me. They are talking to you. So fix it. <laughs> okay, everybody, take care. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Virginie, for all your inspiration, for all your knowledge and all of your dancing. Please keep going. Don't ever stop. The Lindy Hop. <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did there with the, the whole can't stop the Lindy Hop? Yeah.